This is Dave here, and I'm going to show you a really quick way to get into Motiboto album design for Photoshop. And this is all included in the Photoshop version of Motiboto. And there's only three simple steps. One, choose your images. Two, draw a box. And then three, press a button. That's as easy as it gets. So first thing, go to bridge, choose your images. We've got labels built right in. You can change them to red. You can change yellow. You can change it to green as well, whatever tickles your fancy. And then when you're done choosing them, you can actually filter them out. But uh, we can choose, let's say we want three of the verticals to be as smaller boxes and then the horizontal here as the grounding background image. All we need to do now is flip over to our blank layout. And big shout out to Renaissance albums. We love and use them personally, but uh, they, they could be used for any size album spread. And we've got different sizes already built in. We've got squares, four by sixes, we've got 16 by nines, we've got eight by tens, whatever you wish, or freehand. So just draw any size box, and then we add a little key that says plus aperture, and it makes a little box. Hmm, very simple. Now, if I want to duplicate it, I've got a duplicate key right there, and I am into duplication. Ooh, 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 oh, so simple. Press your first box you want to fill. Go back to bridge, and this is the magic part. Press plus image. That's the third step. Da -da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. And let Motiboto do all the hard work for you. Choose the next box. Go back. Choose the next image. Press that key and it'll replace it as a mask. And not only that, if you look at the layers panel on the side, it's also renaming the layer to the name of the image. And so it keeps tab on every image being used in my album design. So cool. In Bridge, we're also starring the image five. So we have a running total of images that are being used in an album. The last image is gonna be a full height in the background. And voila, we actually have a key that says full height and we just press it and it automatically calculates the size of your page spread, no matter how big or small it is. I can just move that over with the press of a key. I can add a gradient and switch the background to black. And oh, one final touch. If I want to add a simple white key line, we got a key for that too. You just press it, previous layer, press it, previous layer, press it. And there is my finished spread. And when you're in the spread, the last step is to save it. We've even got a key for that. It's save page and next. And when it's pressed, it saves this entire document as a layered PSD. So it's really easy to come back to it if your client asks for any changes or if you want to make any changes. So I just press that key and then it opens up the dialog box, asks you what you want your next page to be called. And voila, all your guides are intact and you keep on working. And that is the simplicity that is Motiboto album design in Photoshop.